friends today we will learn about the weather and climate of earth we often get confused between weather and climate in fact these two are quite different it is just like your activities in a day and your activities you keep doing since you started schooling weather is defined as the condition of atmosphere of a given place at a given time have you ever noticed a weather report in a daily newspaper it includes the weather condition of a day that is sunrise and sunset temperature that is maximum and minimum the range of temperature that is difference between the maximum and minimum temperature the air pressure and humidity etc weather is a temporary state of atmospheric conditions it may change in a few hours or a few days wind sun rays temperature humidity and rain determine the weather of a particular place at a particular time for example in december the southern states of kerala tamil nadu and karnataka have a warmer climate than the northern states of uttar pradesh uttarakhand and kashmir climate may be defined as an average of weather conditions of a place or an area climate generally does not change for 30 to 40 years and may be hot cold dry or wet it is not necessary that it remains the same throughout the climate of a place is affected by many factors such as distance from the equator altitude distance from the sea direction of winds humidity ocean currents a place will be hot if it is located near the equator as the sun rays are vertical they cover a shorter distance and are spread over a smaller area generally places far from the equator are cooler poles are the farthest from the equator and are the coldest regions in the polar regions the sun rays are slanting they cover a longer distance and sun rays are spread over a larger area do you know people who study the climate are called climatologists hill stations have a cold climate due to the height above the sea level which is called altitude the temperature decreases with the increase in height two places situated on the same latitude may have different temperatures the dehradun valley and masuri hill station are not far away from each other but differ in temperatures because of their altitudes le is cold because it is at a higher altitude amazing fact the mountain peaks even if located near the equator with a height above 5500 meters remain snow covered throughout the year for example mount kilimanjaro in africa have you wondered why chennai tiruvananthapuram mumbai kolkata and goa are neither too hot nor too cold throughout the year whereas delhi chandigarh agra etc experience extreme summers and winters 
The reason is quite simple. These places are far away from the sea. Places near the sea experience equable type of climate all through the year. The heat of the sun warms up the land faster than the sea. During the day, the land and the air above it get heated and rise up. But the sea and the air above is cooler. Cool air from the sea blows towards the land and cools the land. This cool air is the sea breeze. At night, the land and the air above it cools more quickly than the sea. Warm air from the sea rises and blows towards the land, making the land warm. This warm air is the land breeze. Therefore, places close to the sea have a mild climate all through the year. But as we move away from the sea, this effect decreases, making the climate extreme. The wind too affects the climate of a place. Winds may be hot, cold or moist depending on the place from where they originate. Winds coming from the hot areas increase the temperature and winds blowing from the cold regions will lower the temperature of a place. Winds blowing from the Indian Ocean or Bay of Bengal between June to September have moisture in them and hence bring rain, making the area cool. You might have also heard in the news that because of heat waves from the desert in Rajasthan, the nearby states experience extreme heat on the rivers in winters. Snowfall in the mountains bring cold winds to the northern plains. Humidity means the amount of moisture present in the atmosphere. The winds blowing over the sea brings in lots of moisture and make the climate of the coastal areas very humid. Winds blowing from the land to sea are often dry. These are the flow of water below the surface of ocean water. They affect the climate of a place as these currents may be cold or warm. For example, the warm Gulf Stream blowing from the Gulf of Mexico towards the Arctic Ocean raises the temperature of the coastal water. As a result, Murmansk has become an ice-free port throughout the year. Humans have also been responsible for the change in climate because of their activities regarding development. The entire earth can be divided into three heat zones depending upon the temperature received in areas within those zones. These zones are Torrid Zone Tropical Region Temperate Zone Temperate Region Frigid Zone Polar Region This climatic zone lies between the Tropic of Cancer 23 degrees north and the Tropic of Capricorn 23 degrees south. This region is located near the equator 0 degrees. It is hot and humid throughout the year. As this zone is spread along the equator, the sun rays fall directly on it, making the area extremely hot. The southern states of India like Tamil Nadu, Kerala and Karnataka fall in this region. North India lies in the temperate zone. This climatic zone lies between the Tropic of Cancer 23 degrees.
degrees north and the arctic circle 66.5 degrees north in the northern hemisphere and the tropic of cancer 23 degrees south and antarctic circle 66.5 degrees south in the southern hemisphere it enjoys a moderate climate which is neither too hot nor too cold spring summer autumn and winter are the four seasons in a year the sun is never directly overhead this zone lies between the torrid and the frigid zone in the northern hemisphere the frigid zone lies between the arctic circle 66.5 degrees north and the north pole 90 degrees north and in the southern hemisphere it lies between the antarctic circle 66.5 degrees south and the south pole 90 degrees south the slant of the sun rays almost loses its strength making the region very cool throughout the year the summers are short and cool and the winters are long and very cold the world is also divided into several climatic zones which are based on temperature and rainfall let us summarize weather is an atmospheric condition of a place for a short period it changes frequently climate prevails over a large area and for a long period of over 30 40 years there are five main factors that affect the climate they are distance from equator altitude distance from sea directions of winds humidity and ocean currents the earth is divided into three heat zones named as torrid temperate and frigid zones